Well, hello. I love tank bags on my motorcycles. I find them very useful. So for this 2016 RT, I thought I'd try something a little different this time in one of these new tank ring lock style bags. This one's from SW Motec. So these systems are comprised of a tank ring specific to your bike and whatever bag you may choose to go along with it. The tank ring attaches directly to your fuel filler bezel. And this is the first system I've used like this. And I was a bit wary about any damage that could be caused to the fuel filler cap. But after a lot of research, I've heard no stories of any damage whatsoever. So by removing the four bolts, the kit comes with four new bolts and special spacers that go underneath the ring. SW Motec has two distinct lines of these tank lock bags. One's the Ion line, which is slightly more cost conscious, and the more upscale one is the Evo line. I chose the Evo Daypack bag, and it's just the right size for me. It's on the small end of the size spectrum as well. All I need. Once the bolts are all tightened down to torque spec, and as you saw, I used thread locker. I can check and make sure the fuel filler cap has no interference with the ring and it has none whatsoever. It fits perfectly. Now the bag itself comes with a matching receiver for the ring. And the next step is to attach this receiver to the ring and then put the bag on to determine how forward or backward we need to mount it in order not to have any interference with the bars. Now I don't like to mount the bag too far forward regardless because I like to have a clear view of the gauges and the front of the bars. However, uh, I don't like to mount it too far backwards as well because it looks awkward on the bike and it gets close to my chest or to my stomach. So somewhere in the middle is just perfect. Once I got it far enough back to clear the bars, I did a measurement. For me, it was three inches into the groove that you'll soon see underneath of the bag. And here's how it looks from afar. Nicely fit. Here's the picture of the receiver in the groove that I referred to just a moment ago. And you can see there's lots of leeway to go forward or backward. I'm exactly, as I mentioned, three inches from the end. Once there, I mark around the receiver. Now, in preparing to mount the receiver, I flip the bag over and on its bottom, I open up the two Velcro panels to expose the plastic panel that is the base. This excellent bag kit comes with a drill bit especially designed for this purpose. And also a template for the drilling, which I'm going to do at my bench. And once the four mounting holes are drilled, I simply flip it over and I mount the receiver. It has four collars to go into these holes. Flip the bag back over and the four screws, four small black screws that came with the kit, go through the bottom of the bag into the receiver. It is an exceptionally well-designed system and it's really, really high quality. Now once these four screws are tightened down, and uh, close those two Velcro panels you saw me open up earlier. And the drilling and attachment's done. Next up, it's to attach the actuator cable to the tether that comes with the bag. Now this lace tether can attach to any one of a couple snap areas on the front of the bag. But SW Motec also has a line of accessories that can attach to this bag, such as a GPS holder or an iPhone holder. So this is a super efficient attachment system. It clips down onto the tank by pushing down and snapping into place, and it comes unlocked by simply pulling on the string at the front. And mounted forward, there's no interference with the bars. Now this small day pack bag is actually very versatile and can be expanded with a zipper panel that comes around the circumference on the bottom. The build quality in these Evo bags is very, very high. It's as high as anything I've ever seen for soft luggage on a motorcycle. There's a red liner on the inside plus three areas 
two expandable areas on the side plus a domed mesh area on the roof of the bag which is really nice although this bag is smaller than what i'm used to i think it'll serve me perfectly anyway until next time <laughs>